Good afternoon, my name is Josh from Cyclones Oz and here is your detailed afternoon update exclusively on the rainfall event that's unfolding across far north Queensland at this time. That's what's going to be talking about for the next 15 minutes is the rainfall that's streaming in from that rainfall depression located just offshore. If you are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. All the support is much appreciated, but let's get stuck straight into it with the current picture of this rainfall depression which is situated just offshore from Cooktown at this time, rotating in a bunch of convection and a bunch of rainfall which is heavily impacting the Queensland coastline at this time for locations between Cooktown right down to Hamilton Island and Mackay. So starting from north and heading south, you can see up in the Daintree Rainforest between Cooktown and Kansas, there's a heavy band of rainfall now streaming in ashore there this afternoon at 1pm local time. This rainfall is really starting to pick up now into some of the rain gauges up there and you can see rainfall rates now sitting at about uh, 20 to 30 millimetres an hour in some of these showers here. Really is starting to get quite heavy. In fact, heavy at times. Uh, rainfall has been reported uh, in multiple locations around the Daintree Rainforest up between Port Douglas up to Cape Tribulation around Mossman, that area. Now, rainfall accumulations really start to pile on there. And you can see over the one hour loop uh, that not only is this rainfall very slow moving at this time, it's really reluctant to kind of get itself going in a general direction, but it's swinging itself further into the coastline. It's kind of slingshotting this heavy band of rainfall into the coastline here. So it's not going to be long until the really heavy stuff is over the top of Port Douglas and down to about Cairns. In fact, it's probably already on top of you by the time this video airs. And plenty of rainfall also uh, behind this uh, initial band that's coming through here. So not only is the rainfall going to be persistent for three or four hours at a time, but there's plenty more showers that are blowing up in the wake of this rainfall band as it moves through. And these showers here are also really packing a punch at this time with rainfall rates of about 20 to 30 millimetres an hour as well. In fact, a little bit heavier in some of these showers here. So really packing a punch indeed. And further out to see plenty of really heavy stuff as well uh, out here. So some uh, multiple hours of heavy rainfall is going to be heading into the coastline throughout the remainder of today. And this is going to be the top story for the next couple of days in terms of the far north Queensland weather situation. Further south into the Casbury Coast, not an awful lot happening down there right now. Further south still you can see there's some heavy showers and storms around the Townsville area. They've been peppered with showers throughout the course of today and the rainfall has started to pick up there. We've been talking about rainfall rates of about 40 to 50 millimetres in some of these showers but thankfully they are a little bit more rapidly moving uh, belted along by some of the winds. It's getting quite gusty down there with wind gusts up to about 30 or 40 kilometres an hour. In fact a little bit stronger along the coastline so the showers do have a little bit more forward motion down there. There. South, uh, still between air down to Bowen, Hamilton Island and Mackay, you're seeing a couple of showers moving through there. In fact, tending to rainfall at times, we'll likely be seeing some light to moderate rainfall there throughout the remainder of today and the big band of cloud that's about to stream in there, likely uh, housing a couple of millimetres of rainfall as well inside it. So I expect heavy falls to also develop around the central Queensland into the north central Queensland coastline and then again into the uh, Casper Coast and especially into the Daintree Rainforest coastline throughout the remainder of today. That's at least what's happening over the next uh, couple of hours. You can see the these showers really are starting to build. I mean, take a look at the radar frame. 12 hours ago, there was not that much rainfall, and it certainly wasn't heavy along uh, the Queensland coastline, especially out towards the Coral Sea. And then six hours ago, it's really starting to pick up. Uh, still, again, pretty uh, sparsely uh, patchy and uh, not too much in the way of really heavy stuff. But now there's some thick bands starting to develop, and that's where the real stuff is going to start to pick up now. You can see on the rainfall forecast, pretty much nailing it, the axis so far. You can see the axis G3 forecast model absolutely nailing the current initialization with the low pressure system just towards the north of cook down and then rainfall rates precipitated on the radar as well of about 20 to 30 millimeters an hour so they've really done a good job here the axis g3 forecast model which gives me great confidence in them for at least the next couple of days if you watch this morning's forecast update on this system you know that the axis then starts to pull a couple of boogies out of its nose after about thursday and into friday so we will skip it over them uh, at that point but over the next couple of days certainly a very reliable models so we're going to get into that over the, uh, the next couple of minutes and you can see here the rainfall expected to continue to build as this rainfall gets funneled into uh, the north queensland coast Line, reaching a maximum at about 6 o'clock tonight around the Daintree Rainforest before temporarily easing off there, but still heavy falls persistent along the North Queensland coastline north of uh, Innisfail up through Cairns into the Daintree Rainforest. But you might be able to notice that the rainfall hasn't picked up yet throughout the remainder of today along the Kasseru coastline, and that's been a consistent factor in the forecast for the last 24 hours is we're not expecting much in the way of heavy falls along the Kasseru coastline throughout the course of today. In fact, I'd be surprised if multiple locations picked up more than 100 millimetres throughout the course of today uh, around the Kasseru coastline because, well, Innisfail and Tully, they're kind of out of the way of this rainfall at this time. And you can see here the rainfall takes until early tomorrow morning to really pick itself up. And pick itself up, it sure does. We're expecting heavy to torrential rainfall throughout the course of tomorrow morning. And right throughout Tuesday, we're expecting that heavy to torrential rainfall to continue. Uh, I'd be expecting consistent rainfall observations of about 20 millimetres an hour for multiple locations around the Daintree 
rainforest, especially Mossman and Port Douglas and Cape Tribulation. 20 millimeters an hour sustained for probably uh, six to eight hours at a time and then more rainfall on top of that. And then you do the math, you're already looking at about 200 to 250 millimeters over a 24 hour period. And then again, 20 to 25 millimeters an hour sustained again for about eight or nine hours around the Caspary coastline tomorrow as well. The rainfall is really expected to pick itself up there quite dramatically. Heavy falls expected around the Cairns area too, whether it's on the uh, southeast coast of Cairns, I mean, uh, it looks like a possibility at this time, north of Fishery Falls in this little uh, pocket here, we'll likely be seeing some heavy falls there in that little piece of land that juts out that's going to be uh, catching a lot of the rainfall, so some heavy falls possible there, and then some good falls north of Cairns, up north of Corunda, and up to Port Douglas and Cape Tribulation as well into the Daintree Rainforest, as we have mentioned for the nth time this video. But you can see the rainfall doesn't ease off tomorrow, in fact it picks up again tomorrow night, you can see some really heavy falls expected around Cardwell, Tully and Innisfail, and this will be uh, the Cassowary Coast's turn to really pick up some heavy falls here, and you can see between the other forecast models, we're expecting a line of showers to just be funneled ashore somewhere around Innisfail and Tully, and this is where the real rainfall is going to uh, start to unfold, this is where the real big observations are going to start to unfold from tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. All major forecast models really suggesting it at this time. The GFS has not been on board with it as much, but they're still expecting that funnel of rainfall to happen sometime tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening, and I reckon we're going to be seeing some really big numbers and some really heavy falls throughout tomorrow evening and into early Wednesday morning. The rainfall will steadily ease off throughout Wednesday morning, especially for the Daintree Rainforest. The rainfall pretty much clears out uh, of the Daintree by uh, Wednesday morning, by sunrise on Wednesday. There'll still be some isolated moderate to heavy falls around the Casper Coast. We are expecting this rainfall to continue throughout the Casper Coast right throughout Wednesday, and we'll likely be seeing some heavy falls there again, up to about 50 to 100 millimetres of rainfall through there, and probably isolated pockets up to about 150 millimetres. But then beyond Wednesday, it looks like this rainfall will then start to steadily ease off. And you can see here between the other forecast models, this is a low pressure system pulls well away from the Queensland coastline, whether it heads towards the southeast or further towards the east, which is what the major forecast models are suggesting at this time, the rainfall will ease off throughout Wednesday. It's the axis that really holds on to the rainfall throughout the course of Thursday, and you can see this is where the forecast starts to fall apart here from the axis, and uh, we start to see a little bit more inconsistencies and unreliabilities kind of unfold here, and you can see the axis keeping hold of this rainfall event right through Thursday, right through Friday as well, in fact, really picking the rainfall up on Friday, and then again for Saturday and Sunday, continuing with very heavy falls along the Queensland coastline. I mean, we're talking about four days here of about 600 millimetres on the forecast, which might I just say is not for the life of anyone up in far north Queensland, not going to happen at all. Very, very unlikely. It's the axis just spitting out some absolutely crazy stuff. The, mo the run this morning was very reliable out till about lunchtime on Wednesday, and then beyond that, it just completely fell apart. This is a look at what's actually expected to happen here from a reliable forecast model, the Eastern Bay. Yes, we will see a tropical low slash tropical cyclone develop offshore into the Coral Sea. It's still not expected to be a Queensland cyclone threat, but there will still be a couple of showers swinging into the Casper Coast and into the North Queensland's uh, Daintree Rainforest and right up the Cape York Peninsula. There will still be some heavy showers moving through there and isolated heavy falls expected through Saturday and Sunday with widespread accumulations up to 70 millimetres expected on both Saturday and Sunday with the isolated pockets up to about 125 millimetres also possible on both days but we're not going to be seeing anything history uh, making or record breaking in terms of rainfall up around the Casper Coast and into the Daintree Rainforest. That's just not going to happen and it's not on North Queensland's bingo card at this time. So that basically does it for the rainfall forecast breakdown. In terms of town by town, the worst of the rainfall will be happening around the Daintree Rainforest throughout the remainder of today and into early tomorrow morning, with some heavy fall still expected to continue through Tuesday and into Wednesday morning. Uh, heavy rainfall isn't expected to fully develop in the Cairns area. They're still expecting some heavy showers to be moving through throughout the remainder of today, with the heaviest of falls expected tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. The rainfall should be clearing out by tomorrow evening around the Cairns area. Uh, the peak of the rainfall should, like I said, be around sort of that tomorrow morning kind of time frame. Uh, that's kind of been what the forecast models have been kind of reciprocating for the last couple of days is the worst of the rainfall happening around the Cairns area tomorrow uh, late morning into the, into the early afternoon. The worst of the falls around the uh, Casper Coast will begin by tomorrow morning and then continue through tomorrow afternoon and will actually be at their worst by tomorrow evening by the looks of things before easing off Wednesday morning and pretty much clearing out of the Casper Coast. Not so much on what this forecast is suggesting but certainly clearing out of the Casper Coast for the most part by Wednesday afternoon and evening. There'll still be a couple of heavy showers here and there but the rainfall pretty much all but gone for the Casper Coast and by extension the far north regions of Queensland by Wednesday evening uh, bar a couple of showers and thunderstorms that will still be moving through the area. And then further south if we draw the forecast further south you can see towns all just expecting to get, continue to receive showers throughout the remaining couple of uh, days of this weather event here. We'll likely see an increase of showers later on this afternoon and into this evening around the Townsville area. In fact some heavy falls are possible later on tonight into early tomorrow morning and then those showers should clear out of the Townsville area by tomorrow evening and into early Wednesday morning. Same deal down towards 
towards Hamilton Island and Bowen, there will be some heavier showers moving through over the coming couple of hours. Heavy falls actually possible around the Bowen area around midnight tonight. Same deal with uh, Hamilton Island and Proserpine and even down towards Mackay, there will be some heavier showers in the vicinity down there, but there will be few and far between. And then the showers easing off the of Mackay, Hamilton Island and Proserpine by tomorrow lunchtime and then by tomorrow evening for Bowen. And as you get further north, the showers will be easing off just progressively, uh, slightly later and later uh, on in the forecast. But yeah, certainly some heavy rainfall is expected. In fact, peak rainfall accumulations will be happening tomorrow, not so much today. For the Daintree Rainforest, the peak of the rainfall will be happening today, but it'll be tomorrow's time to shine for the Casper Coast, that's for sure. Let's take a look at those rainfall accumulations right now. We certainly don't want to be taking a look at this chart for too long, so let's drag this forecast back until uh, about Wednesday night. This is uh, kind of how much rainfall is expected over the next, uh, in fact, 48 hours, basically, is what we've pushed this forecast out. This is just going to be a 48-hour rainfall event, so it's going to be really quick, really fast-paced, and a lot of rainfall is expected to fall. Now, I'm actually really happy with the numbers the Access G3 forecast has brought out with us on this forecast run, at least for the next kind of 30 hours or so. Uh, not 30 hours, 50 hours rather. So starting in the north and heading further south, you can see Cooktown expecting about 100 millimetres or so of rainfall. The rainfall won't be too heavy anywhere north of Cooktown. Woodrow Woodrow probably about 150 millimetres there. Port Douglas probably closer to about 250 millimetres. And I'm expecting spot totals around Mossman and up towards Cape Tribulation to be about four to 500 millimetres. Depending on what rainfall comes through throughout the remainder of today and if that rainfall does actually pick up in terms of intensity because if we take a look back at the radar imagery, yes, there are some heavy falls happening up here. And there will be some moderate heavy heavy rainfall continuing throughout the remainder of today, but we're not seeing anything kind of ex absurdly excessive at this time. This is just kind of stock standard stuff for far north Queensland. So I think anything over about 400 millimetres around uh, the danger of rainforest is going to be exceedingly unlikely at this time. Karunda, I don't really see a world where Karunda picks up under 125 millimetres. I reckon they're going to be more sort of around the 150 millimetre ballpark. I reckon Cairns will pick up at least 70 millimetres and anything over that will be bonus rainfall. Probably closer to about 120 millimetres is what Cairns is going to end up with. But some of the uh, locations just towards the east of Cairns, I'm not 100% sure if there's communities uh, out here around sort of the Fitzroy Island area, but just out uh, towards this area here, I'm expecting spot totals up to about three or 400 millimetres. It's going to be dramatically wet around here on this cape than it is around the Cairns area. Uh, what is that? The Grey Peaks uh, National Park, there are going to be some really big rainfall accumulations out there. Heading further south, I'm not a f big fan of the rainfall accumulations down around Belen and Kuro Fishery Falls. I reckon on this forecast here is really underbaking them at this time. I reckon about three or 400 millimetres coming through for Fishery Falls and up to about 500 for Belen and Kerr. Uh, further south and that's still around sort of the Innisfail, South Johnston and Tully area. I'm expecting about uh, widespread rainfall accumulations of about 300 millimetres over the next 48 to 70 72 hours. I'm also expecting rainfall accumulations uh, in isolated areas and mountain valleys to be up to about 550 or 600 millimetres on top of the rainfall that's already fallen there. And some places along the coastline could also be picking up up to about 600 to 650 millimetres, especially around South Mission Beach, depending on what rainfall comes through tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. So it'll be interesting to see what rainfall happens there. Babinda should be the runaway wettest major population centre. I mean, it is just a town at the end of the day, but you know what I'm talking about for, for, the, for the far north reaches of Queensland. I reckon yeah, Babinda will probably pick up uh, around sort of that 550 to 600 millimetres in contrast to Innisfail and Tully's about 400 to 450 millimetres. Uh, but again, we will just wait and see what happens there. Either way, this rainfall is going to be coming through in such a quick period of time that there will be some flash flooding and also some riverine flooding along this part of the Casper Coast. I mean, that kind of goes without saying at this time. Heading further south, I reckon Cardwell will pick up about 150 to 250 millimetres, probably on the higher side of that. Same deal with Ingham, 150 to 250 millimetres. Townsville should pick up at least 50 millimetres from the showers, but I reckon they're going to get a bit closer to about 100 millimetres. Again, the rain dome is still in full swing there. They have had some good rainfall though over the last couple of hours and I reckon that's going to continue over the remaining 24 hours and I reckon there'll be at least uh, there'll be high double figure rainfall accumulations around the Townsville area and possibly early uh, triple figure rainfall accumulations as well. Further south still air expecting about 30 to 50 millimetres. Bowen also expecting between 30 and 50 millimetres of rainfall and then down around Hamilton Island and Proserpine around that kind of 20 to 40 millimetre mark. Depending on what showers come through there, I'm not expecting too much in the way of rainfall, it should be relatively light. And I haven't forgotten you guys inland from the Casper Coast. Unfortunately, though, the rainfall's not looking anything special there. I doubt Mariba, Atherton, Ravenshaw, or any of the communities in this area here will pick up more than 80 millimetres of rainfall. Anything over about 50 millimetres of rainfall will actually be kind of bonus rainfall for them. And widespread accumulations between that 15 to 50 millimetres does look like it's going to be the norm out there. A pretty big range of uncertainty. I mean, 50 millimetres is pushing into the wetter territory around some of these areas, but still not an awful lot in the way of rainfall is expected, unfortunately. And that's going to be quite a bit of a mood killer for a few people. 
people. But yeah, um, there's certainly some really significant rainfall coming through, and it goes without saying that under the heavy showers, some flash flooding is not uh, likely. It is expected at this time. Uh, we're going to be seeing some flash flooding in some of the rivers already, river levels starting to rise as well. And then some of these rivers are also going to get up towards the moderate or the major flooding alerts. And I do expect some major flooding in some of the rivers around the Innisfail and Tully area as well, especially heading in towards Mission Beach. I'm expecting some big time flooding in those areas come Wednesday morning and into Wednesday afternoon. But river levels should begin to drop off from about Wednesday lunchtime if they. They haven't yet, they'll definitely be dropping off by about evening on Wednesday. Uh, they certainly wouldn't be rising right up till about Thursday. So whatever uh, whatever the river levels are at about Wednesday lunchtime, they shouldn't be getting any worse than that. And just uh, one last look at the sea temperatures along the coastline here, 31 or 30 pushing 31 degrees. That's why there is going to be so much rainfall coming ashore because any cloud, any shower band that gets itself over these sea temperatures is just going to be evaporating water like there's no tomorrow. And as such, those big time rainfall accumulations will be sapping the energy out of the North Queensland. Um, uh, waters here. So plenty of energy available for these showers, much more than is usually available here. And as such, we're expecting so much evaporation and so much in the way of rainfall from these showers and shower bands to be moving ashore. Looking a little bit further out into the future, I would love to be talking about these tropical low slash tropical cyclones that are expected to, to develop in the Coral Sea by early February. But just take a look at this. This is one look at the Eastern BF and then another look at the GFS and then another look at the Axis. There is so much uncertainty and so much inconsistencies between the forecast models at this time. I'm not 100% sure what what to make of it. I do expect another surge in the rainfall to happen next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of uh, February, respectively, and I do expect that to be a pretty significant surge in rainfall for the North Queensland area, especially around the Casbury Coast, another couple of hundred millimetres is possible there, and I think that will happen regardless of tropical cyclone or tropical low formation, but in terms of a forecast for tropical cyclones heading into Queensland, I couldn't give that to you right now to save your life. Uh, it, it is a really uncertain picture at this time and you're going to have to wait till probably tomorrow or even Wednesday for an actual picture of what's expected in terms of tropical activity. Unfortunately, I would love to be the one to be able to give the detailed forecast, but that's just not possible at this time. Anyways, this video has run for long enough. I hope that it's covered and answered all of your questions up around the far northern reaches of Queensland. It's certainly a significant rainfall event that's developing here, a strong tropical low, strong rainfall depression, whatever you want to be calling it. Questions or comments, leave them in the comment section or feel free to flick me an email as well. I'll be more than happy to help you out uh, in the emails or in the comment section as well so please do consider uh, sending me something over there as well send me photos as well to my email there's a link in the channel description and follow the facebook page as well It'll be regular updates on this weather event as it unfolds but that is all for me this afternoon and i'll catch you all in the next storm goodbye